Today, I would love to talk about how I got past 40 clients. And I'm at 400 today. And I really feel like there's just this really hard step to take that a lot of agencies run into. I've yeah. personally interviewed about 250 agencies over the past two years. And I noticed that only maybe three or 4% get past that 40 clients and they get stuck. And so that's what I want to talk about today. I love that, man. I think it's a, I mean, I experienced it too. I think it's a plateau that a lot of people hit. For me, it was like just the specific revenue realm of like 100k MRR. I just sat there for a really long time. And it took a lot of kind of restructuring and rethinking things to be able to get past that. But if there's obviously specific things that you're seeing on a consistent basis for everyone, then that'll give people some good tools in their belt to, to be able to make those changes. So I mean, I guess the, the first thing, having talked to so many agencies, that gives you a lot of experience also to, to know what the market looks like. So we'll even dive into maybe some of those questions of like what you see 2024 looking like for agencies and the best ways for agencies to perform and to or to outperform and to be noticed the most and different things like that we can even dive into. There's probably some things that you've noticed pretty clearly, maybe like top 10 or top five or even maybe top three things where you're like, man, these things every single time stop people from from getting past that 40 client mark. Happy to dive into that. The number one thing that I see is that people don't hire the second account director. And so what happens is, is the agency owner becomes a director. Obviously, when you're a one-man band, you're not really an agency. Mm -hmm. You're a consultant when you're a one-man band. You're a freelancer when you're a one-man band. Once you hire your first couple of assistants, and I would say right around the second one, that's when you could classify yourself as an agency. And so a freelancer, a consultant, they can take up to 10, maybe 14 clients and yeah. top out. And most usually target six to eight, to be clear. So over time, as you start to hire up and staff up and you start to ramp up, right around year two to year three, depending on how successful you are, what model you have, what sector you're in, you're going to need to hire a second account director who can take things off of you. Now, one level below the account director is a manager. And, mm -hmm. and this would be some places you'd call this a brand manager at other places you'd call in an account manager. All the same in my mind here for org chart yeah. discussion's sake. And the managers are the point of contacts with clients. So I have a system or a formula on how many assets or people you need, depending on your client ratios and your MRR and all those targets that, that we use. Mine's a little unusual and most agencies use something different. So I'm gonna go into mine and explain why I do what I do. But at the end of the day, one of the basic formulas that I've seen always having to be followed is 40 accounts to one account director. And anything, and obviously SaaS and some other sectors, most of the things we talk about today will not apply. We're talking right service-based agencies that help out reoccurring models, usually north of $1,000 per month, more often than not closer to three to 4,000 a month or even greater mm -hmm. than that. At most agencies, we would see a brand manager or an account manager manage somewhere between four to eight accounts, usually between six and eight. And so if you try and run that math, then you could say, cool, if I'm chasing 40 accounts here, divide 40 by, let's say seven, just to keep the averages there, that means you're going to have probably six brand managers on staff with 0.3 remaining of that six for growth. And if you don't fill and always have 10% extra staffing, growth becomes very difficult, especially if one key employee resigns or two core, one or two big contracts that sign up, all of your availability gets sucked up fast. And, you know, the number one problem we see at all agencies is burnout, right? Like, you know, when Gary V first started his agency, he's on record saying, man, everybody told me I was crazy. It was going to have people in and out the door with high churn and that they would stay at my agency for one and a half to two years. And Gary said, you know, at my agency, they're going to stay five to 10. And he's been a big proponent about taking care of your people. Now, I have been a proponent of, of that theology for a couple of years, and I am nowhere near close to those kinds of tenure numbers. And so I, I have a, a brand director whose last day today uh, that was with me for two years. So I experienced the same metric 
metrics and whatnot, and I had to solve for it. So with the account director, the reason why you have to have an account director for 40 accounts is they cannot rotate through more than 40 accounts a month. And, and typically 40 is not even easy. Uh, right. 30 is probably palatable. 40 is just kind of doable and you ignore 10 of them a little bit. So having a brand manager or account manager meeting is a main point of contact. We like to have meetings every two weeks. Some agencies do weekly. I think weekly is too much burnout and not enough happens between- For a meeting weeks. with the clients, you mean? For meeting with the clients. Yeah. And so- so if we have two meetings a month on average, then the director shows up to one of those two. 40 meetings in a month already for yeah. the director, for five or six brand managers. So they have to rotate through all that. They then have to manage those account managers, brand managers as well with a weekly meeting internally. So that's another, you know, the, the time suck adds up very quickly. Then there's recruitment who directors typically have to do the, you know, at least the final interview. Um, mm -hmm. So at our, at our agency, we do everything internally. You know, of the 500 employees, I have my HR division is about 25 strong with 12 to 13 of them focused exclusively on recruitment.